evening. I'm Erin Ty reporting for the Oak News. We are here at Tri-County Worship Center with an exclusive interview with one of the best painters of all time. Our segment today is Painting with Taylor. Let's go check out the studio. And now, an interview with Taylor's apprentice who is going to be painting with her today. What is your name? AC Yeager. And how are you feeling today? I'm feeling amazing. Interesting. What has brought you into the art industry? Um, I've always had a knack for painting and I was all for the scholarship. Amazing. And have you worked with any other painters before? I've worked with Bob Ross. Bob Ross? Bob Ross. And with your past experience, who would you say is a better painter? Taylor French or Bob Ross? I would say Taylor French. Bob Ross. Well, you heard it here, folks. Can't wait to hear today from the master. I'm here with the absolute best painter in the world, Taylor French. Well, Taylor, you're such a sensational artist. Your pieces sell for billions of dollars. It's so remarkable to have you here today. Thank you. Yeah, I love giving back. So actually today, all the proceeds are going to speed the light. <laughs> Amazing. Let's do this. We're going to be painting a sunset over a lake. Um, watchers might be following along with us today. So, Taylor, what supplies do we have for our painting today? We need some paint brushes, paper towel, and then our colors of paint. We have white, black, a dark blue, a light blue, regular blue, and then a yellow, a canvas, and some water. Step one, you want to get a flat, medium-sized brush, and then you're just going to dampen it in some water and start with your white. And we're gonna start midway through the canvas and just put this right on in a straight line. So you wanna get your smallest brush and then you're gonna dip it into the yellow and you're just gonna start right there and make a circle. Step three. Use either your medium sized brush or your smallest brush and you're gonna wanna dip into the light blue color. And then with this, we're gonna start making the mountains. So you just wanna start them bigger on the edges and then you can just kind of do like curved lines or rocky and you're just gonna start making the mountains and on the other side, you're going to want to start up taller, too. How far do we make the mountains? Like, how far do we pull them down? As far as your heart desires. Or you're going to get your smaller brush and just get some white and you're going to want to do some highlights on the moon. So you're just going to put a little bit of white on the top and kind of blend it in. Step five, you take your smallest brush or your medium size and you wanna get some black. And this is where it's gonna start the edge of the lake. So it really depends how big you want the lake to be. And you're just gonna draw that line. you're going to want to take your small brush and we're going to start making the trees. So you're going to want to use your black. So you can draw a line for the trunk and then you can just do little dots off of it to make the branches and leaves. So you can also like blend in some of the blue paint. It just allows there to be more shape in the trees. want you could make your trees higher on the outside so it looks more circular
brush, you're gonna wanna go into the lightest blue and do the same thing you did with the last blue. Just blend that in and start going back into the center. and you can go back with the flat brush. You want to make sure all the blue's off of it. And then you can mix just a little bit of white in with the yellow. And you're going to use this to be the sun reflection. So you're just going to want to go like underneath in the lightest spots and start blending that in. And then taking a little bit more orange just to make it more noticeable. some more of the white then and put it in the middle. You can use the straight yellow too. Just try to do different shades and mix it together. <laughs> Step 12, you're gonna take a small or a medium brush and get black. And now we're just gonna start making grass. So with this, you're gonna wanna make it longer at the sides again, and you're just gonna take the tip of the brush and make the grass look like strands. And then you're gonna wanna cover this all in black. And then the final step of every painting, you have to sign it. You can either write your name or your initials. And I'm just gonna use black, you can use white or whatever. And I usually sign the corner. I'm just going to do TF. Oh! Taylor, you're truly inspiring. This has really been a painting experience to remember. Asa, did you have fun? Yes, I did. I, I truly did. I can't wait to hang my painting in my house. Thank you so much, Taylor and Asa. Thank you. To all my viewers, you are invited to the Drive-In Church at Tri-County Worship Center. I hope I see you there. This has been Aaron Ty from The Oak. See you next time. And God bless